Hey, my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous souls. Welcome, Scorpio. Today we're working on, in a video for this reading, what are you working on getting over? Finally getting over, getting over a hump with your separation connection to your soul person. So we're going to do this. It's going to be kind of a quick reading, but it'll just give us some clarity. So what is something going into 2020 that you're going to be working on sort of getting over about this? We've got burnout. So you've been feeling helpless and hopeless. I feel like you've spent a lot of time and energy on this person and on this situation. And I feel like it is time for you to take your time back and take yourself back because you've put a lot of yourself into this. I feel like, you know, for a while it became like a big obsession and now you're just kind of burnt out on all of it. I feel like you're burnt out on the whole twin flame thing too. I feel like you're burnt out on no answers, not understanding it, you know, thinking one way, then thinking another, getting a lot of misinformation. I also feel like you're at such a disconnect with your person that you don't know what's going on with them. You're just tired of thinking about it. So I feel like more focus on yourself is coming and for you to um, really just accept that, that that's okay to feel this way. Let's see what else. Yeah, we've also got this sort of unrequited feeling. So it could be that towards the end of this, when you were going into separation with this person, they weren't feeling the same way you were. They were not on the same page as you at all. I feel like you are definitely still burning for them. But the burnout, it's like, I feel like once you're done, Scorpio, you're done. I feel like that's what happens. That's why this is happening. Look, we've got this fire and then we've got this burnout. So I feel like you're tired of, you know, this wasted energy feeling and you're tired of carrying this torch and there's nothing been reciprocated for you since. So I feel like you will be getting over this. You definitely will. Let's get one more card. Yeah, look at that. Surrender. It doesn't mean that you're you're lost. So I feel like this is about you just succumbing to these energies and allowing them to be felt and okay and just work on getting past them in any way you can. I feel like for you, that means that you might go cold, you might go numb, you might go vindictive, you might go like that route, like, you know, you're upset and you, you want them to feel this so deeply and hurt too. But I feel like that's the lesson. Don't wish that. Don't feel that way. Like that, that's the lesson. Okay. So let's see some advice for you going forward to help you finally overcome this. What does spirit have to say for you? Look at that. We've got believe and succeed. So you're at a halfway point. I feel like new, new things are going to come up for you. Like new passions, new hobbies, new adventures, new people, all kinds of new stuff is on the horizon for you. So I feel like in the past, if you ever felt, you know, really lost or you, you know, you don't know if you can go it alone or you're just so done with everything and you're like, fuck it. Yeah, I do want to go alone. And you're a little bit bitter. I feel like whatever you have your eye on the prize of something, not on your twin flame, get that out of your head right now on your future, on something else. There is something else big in front of you, okay? You might not be seeing it because you've spent so much energy on this person. You might have not been seeing it. They might have been distracting you a little bit from it, okay? Only in terms of you spending your time and energy on thinking about it, obsessing about it, and being upset about it. Now I feel like the way is being cleared for you, and I feel like there is something really big coming for you that you're supposed to overcome, something that it could be with work, like your your big like hurrah moment is coming, okay? So I feel like stay on this path that you're on, and you must really put the effort into you in believing and succeeding that you're going to overcome this and you're going to be okay and what's coming next for you because I feel like you're so giving that something is going to come back to you in a positive way yeah let's see if we got one more message yeah look at that awaiting results so I don't know if this is you've had one last final thing that you said to this person and you're waiting for them to come back or you're waiting for them to um show progress or you're waiting for them to communicate with you I feel like it that's also like was wasting your time but I also feel like you're in a stage now where you're reevaluating things so I feel like going into 2021 you're going to be doing a lot of reevaluating of your feelings of your time where you want to spend your energy your work life a lot is going on for you right now so I feel like just stay strong in that and let's take one more card 
and we've got take the lead. So for you to take the reins, to start to go, I feel like this means new people for you, all right? Please don't discount that soulmates have to come in and sometimes we need to have other love relationships. So I feel like that might be coming in for you. And I also feel like this is this is your, like your year to turn shit around. I really feel and see you taking your power and being all in your power. I really do see that. And um, let's get one more. Let's get one more for you about relationships, okay? Like what was something particularly difficult with this person that was pointing to healing or a message for you about relationships, something that you need to learn, something that you need to, you know, be aware of with you and this when you and this person. Yeah, strength. So I feel like you're teaching each other strength and separation. You're you're coming into your own strength. Um, they're coming into theirs. I feel like it's taken a lot of strength to be apart and, and deal with a lot of these issues. So I feel like ultimately, you know, between the two of you, this is what's being worked on, you know, in separation, even going into 2021. I hope that that was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Love and light.